You guys ready to go home? Come on, let's go home. Ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Ready, Peanut? You have the cutest shadow. Let's go home. There's a big guy sitting out of the water. I'm not going to get any closer because I got my dogs with me and they are fast when they want to be fast if they're hungry. But that's unusual for him or her to just be sitting on a bank up towards the street. So I hope he didn't get, oh, there he goes. What a great shot for y'all. Perfect timing. So to give you a little perspective of how close they are, and we've come in quick contact. This is the this is my house. This is the back of my house. We have a river. They come up out of the river and they cross right here. And they go into the front pond that I'm always showing you guys. So we got a whole bunch that live in this river. But I don't take much video back there because mostly I'm out front. But many times the gator is crossing the street when my dog is in this empty lot going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So I no longer can let my dog out front because it's mating season and they are traveling every day back and forth because I think they're bedding down in that little bush back there. So just a little tidbit of info for you guys. And of course my house has an alligator with a cupcake in his mouth because I do run a bakery so it's fitting. And there's the dogs. Is this your house? Is this your house, you guys? All right, come on. Hey guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today I'm going to do the chiffon effect in this heart mold. Uh, this is my first time, so bear with me. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I'm just hoping for no bubbles. That's my main thing. So I cut this piece. What I did was I wrapped the whole piece up that I had. I stuck it inside the mold and I just kind of put it down like that. And then I trimmed it around the edge so only like an inch was hanging out. Because I'm really not sure the amount that should be to be, have the best look. I also don't know which side I'm going to use for the top or the bottom. So I'm just kind of going to wing this at the moment. Uh, I don't really have a huge plan. I do know I'm going to be using rose gold to tint my um, resin. I have rose gold glitter. I may do as a back coat, but I have to figure out what the back coat would be. I might add pearls to it. Like I said, I don't have a plan. All I know right now is I'm going to mix up some resin and get the chiffon in, and then we'll go from there. I've just mixed up six ounces of resin to start with. I don't want it too, too deep. I added two drops of this rose gold but this is metallic, so I didn't want it to go too crazy on the metallic. So I did get out my alcohol inks and I used this rose hip to get it uh, this pinkish color, which it's very transparent. It looks much pinker in here. I'll show you on a paper towel the color that it is. So it's really light pink. Now the only, like I said, the bubble thing, these are the days I wish I had that bubble machine that everybody is showing and talking about. Unfortunately, I do not have one. So we're going to have to deal with the bubbles that have been incorporated in the mixing. Um, my stick, I know it's wood, but it is covered in resin. I reuse this one over and over. It's just the fact that I usually serve too quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and just deal with the bubbles. Hopefully, I'm, I'm just going to pour it in slowly and from up high, hoping to break 
most of those bubbles. So I'm just going to get this poured in, then I'm going to let it sit for a little while, and I'm going to pop some of those bubbles before I add the chiffon, because I don't want them getting stuck underneath there. So I will go ahead and uh, fast forward this, because this is going to take a while, because I am pouring it super, super slow. So while I'm pouring this in super fast speed, I just want to remind you that I do sell all my demos at cost. So whatever this costs to make in materials, I will ship it to you plus the shipping. So just um, email me at that email address on the screen and I'll be happy to get this out to you. Thank you to all of you who have already purchased from me. Okay, so in reality, that actually took about four and a half minutes to pour that in. Um, that's how slow I was going. And there are some bubbles on the surface. I'm going to try my alcohol spray, and most of them should go away. So I'm just going to let this sit for a few minutes before we move on. All right, I don't see any more bubbles in here, so I'm going to go ahead and start this process. I've got my little silicone stick here, and I'm just going to do this super slow. Starting from the center and working towards the edge. I just want to get it saturated with no bubbles before I start worrying about what the folds look like. So again, I will fast forward this because this is going to take several minutes. That took a long time, so make sure you have time in your day if you're going to tackle this and that you have some patience because I must have been playing with this for about 15 minutes. There's no way to get every air bubble out. It's just no way. I don't know if it's because I only did six ounces. I thought about putting a couple more ounces in, but I like the folds. I don't see any of the seams. So I think I'm going to use this as the top. And then I'm not sure I might place some pearls in here a little later when it gets sticky so they don't move. And um, I'll top coat it with a clear. So this will take extra steps. And then when I take it out of the mold, I'll back coat it with the, the glitter. Because I think that you'll be able to see the back through the transparent. Um, so the, yeah, that's my plan for now. That could always change. Again, you just have to come to a point where you're just going to let it sit. And that's where I'm at right now. So I'll come back and decide if I'm going to place anything in there. It's not been that long, but I'm getting impatient. So I decided because this kind of looks like a neckline on a dress that I'm going to take some pearls and I'm going to place them like a necklace. It's kind of sticky, so I think it'll work right now. I don't think I have to wait too much longer. I'm just going to take these pearls that I have and kind of form them into a necklace. I 
I don't know how it's going to look, but I want to do something different. What do you think, guys? Leave it? I think it looks kind of cute. I hope it's self-explanatory. That's the only thing. I don't want people like, well, what is that supposed to be? Just kind of... I know, a little OCD. Okay. Um, now I'm going to just let it cure, and then we're going to put a top clear coat on it. So I went and got this pendant that I made the other day. And I thought that might look cute to be self-explanatory that it would be a necklace. What do you think? Let me zoom in. You think that looks good? I think so. I think I'm going to leave it in there. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. Obviously, now it's full of resin, so I can't use it anymore. Okay, I'll be back when it's cured. Let me give you a couple tips if you're going to try the pearl thing. It's not a big deal, but you do have to monitor it. I would wait longer than I waited. I think I waited 30 minutes before I put them in. I would have waited an hour because they did move slightly, but they moved enough. This one right here is one I didn't catch. I'm sure I can heat it up, but it's not that bad. So this one and this one kept moving on me. Everything else pretty much stayed the same. So do wait longer until it's tacky and then put them in if you want to put pearls in. So I'm just mixing up six more ounces of clear resin and I'm just going to pour this over and we're going to let it cure and pop it out and see how it looks. I hope it still has a nice wavy effect in it. I don't see why it wouldn't. And then I don't know if we would need a back coat. So I'm going to have to see, uh, hold something up behind it before I take the time to put a back coat on it. I will probably edge it in silver or something just so you don't see the two layers, the pink and the clear. But other than that, it really wasn't that hard. This one is a little more time consuming. And um, I think it'll be worth it in the end. So I'm just going to pour this again high. I'll fast forward because it does take quite a while to pour it in this slow. Okay, I think that's enough. It's covered all the layers. And like I said, you can't do anything really. I don't know if there's a trick to getting rid of these big bubbles in the folds. Please let me know. Um, send me an email or make a comment on the video, whatever you want to do. Because uh, I will take any suggestions. So I'm just going to spray this down with my alcohol. And kind of watch it again for a little while and make sure as bubbles come up that I will catch them. So we'll see you at demolding. 
I'm back. I'm not going to lie. This video was never going to get put out on YouTube because I got mad at myself and made a mistake. But then I thought to myself, since when have I let a mistake stop me from teaching you guys lessons? So it has been unmolded. That's why it is underneath this fabric. Um, because I wasn't going to show the video. So I will show you what happened. This is the top, like you saw before. And I'm obviously not happy with the bubbles. And it's so funny because the day I poured this, that evening, I was watching Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out. Her video today, the day I'm pouring, was telling you to make sure you use low viscosity resin. I did not do that. So all of you, if you did not see Julie's video... It's probably a week or so, two weeks after the fact now, but it is actually the day that I poured this one. Hers came out on a chiffon. I can't remember what she made, something chiffon. And it has to be low viscosity resin. I use medium, which is these bubbles. The other thing that I got really mad about is I was shaking one of my alcohol inks and the lid was not on. My gold alcohol ink, it was metallic because I was doing something else with it. And the splatter went across this resin, and I did not know it. So there is a little bit of splatter. So I got really, really mad, and I was like, forget it. I'm not going to show this video, but I'm like, well, I will, because it, it's not completely... I mean, if I had to, if anybody wanted this one as the demo, I would be happy to sand that down, because it'll come right off. I'm not going to do it just to sit around my house, but you, I would sand this down and put a clear coat on top of it. But this is the outcome. I did edge it with silver just to see if I could dress it up any. And this is the back, which I'm glad I chose the front because I'm not crazy about the back. It's all sitting flat and not pretty folded. So I'm glad I chose this side. So let me know what you think. Um, the lesson to be learned here is one use low viscosity resin and um you will not get although she did have some bubbles but not as big as these ones so i think bubble list is almost next to impossible i don't know if you guys have one of those bubble machine removers i don't know if that would work sitting in the actual mold putting it in that machine and drawing them out i don't know because i don't have one um the other thing to learn is don't shake anything around a <laughs> A piece that is curing that's uncovered so other than that I like the necklace in it I think it looks cute um so yeah I guess uh give me your comments let me know what you think should I have not published this one should I keep my mistakes to myself and only show you you know the things that do work I don't want to waste your time nor my time because the videos do take time to edit so if you don't want to see mistakes, please let me know down below in the comments and I will stop showing you mistakes and only show you the good stuff. So you guys all have a blessed day. I will try to take some good pictures of this for you. Um, yeah, okay. Have a blessed day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.